Dude, I can't believe it, man. The reason why I started to take off on YouTube originally was because of the Kansas City Chiefs and their fans talking about, oh, Tyreek Hill was traded to the Dolphins. Well, you know, the Chiefs, they just got a ton of salary cap. They just got a ton of draft picks, more motivation for Reed, for Mahomes, for Kelsey to continue dominating. This team has unfinished business. And a large reason why they were able to get this far is because of their rookies, something that Tony Romo was highlighting a ton. I mean, you have guys like Sky Moore who had that punt return late in this game. Isaiah Pacheco gaining extra yards, continuing to fight. A front rookie that ran a 4-3 was in the seventh round. I mean, there was over, how many running backs were taken before him? 20, 25, 26? Like, it's just remarkable. Not to mention that you have guys like you know, Joshua Williams, right? You have guys like Watson, you know, Jalen Watson, and just all of these players for the uh, Carloptis. Like, there's just so many, um, Cook, the safety. The Chiefs rookies on top of Reed, Mahomes, and Kelsey, and then bringing in free agents like MBS and you know, Judas and Schuster. Chris Jones, we've got to highlight him. I mean, he had two sacks in this game. The biggest sack of his NFL career literally was in this game on that Bengals you know, third and long. His first one as well was really good. Chris Jones was in the running for Defensive Player of the Year for a reason. He's the best player on this Chiefs defense, and he showed exactly why. You can't stop him, man. I mean, you want to go to the Super Bowl, you want to win a Super Bowl, you need players like Chris Jones on your team. You need players that can go out there and make big-time plays, you know, game-changing plays. The Bengals, they had won, what, 10 in a row? Joe Burrow has a chance to lead his team down the field for a game-winning drive, and Jones makes that play. So before I get into the video, though, if you guys are a fan of the NFL, you've come to the right place. My name is Swaggy, and I post one to two videos every single day. I have been posting Chiefs videos since the summer. Like I said, the first video that I made on YouTube for the NFL was a Chiefs video that really put me on the map. So appreciate you guys and your fans. I did pick the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl before the playoffs. Obviously, I picked the Chiefs to win this game. If Travis Kelsey didn't play, probably a different story. But Mahomes threw for over 300 yards in this game. Two TDs, no interceptions. Obviously, to lose a fumble, which is unfortunate. But the fact he was able to, on a high ankle sprain, get out of the pocket, and especially that run, which extended the uh, game, of course. On that third down, he was able to reach. And then, of course, the Bengals had that unnecessary roughness penalty, move the chains, you know, uh, move the field 15 more yards. And then Bucker was able to hit that kick. The Chiefs, it seemed to me like at one point in time, they were going to actually multiple points in time, they were going to lose this game just because of mistakes like that fumble by Mahomes that led to a touchdown. And, you know, maybe Bucker misses that kick or something. I don't know. Just sort of silly mistakes, silly situations. That the Chiefs, uh, you know, you look at the past three times these two teams have played, the Chiefs have missed kicks. They've had some silly turnovers. And even like in this game on that, uh, I don't remember the, exactly how long it was, but it was a third and long. And Hayden Hurst made a play. So, or it might have been Jarwin. I honestly don't remember who made the play because I was just crazy. It was so much going on. But the Chiefs, they gave up that. It was like a third and 15 or something. So things like that normally come back to beat the Chiefs because I mean I can't remember a time where I'm like the Chiefs lost this game because not necessarily that they were outplayed but just the Chiefs they played their best football the other team was just better I mean you look at the Chiefs losses of the season so who Bills they lost to the Bills they lost to the Bengals they, uh, I forget which one was by four points they lost to my Colts so the Chiefs they and uh, that Chris Jones had a unnecessary or no it was a taunting penalty and bullshit i'm a Colts fan. it was a bullshit taunting penalty and that led the Colts to get an extra set of down so if the chiefs can limit turnovers and mistakes and as andy reed likes to say you know use their head the chiefs are always going to be the best team i mean they got better this season people thought without terry kill they were going to go downhill the raiders went out there and got Devontae adams and they also brought in chandler jones on top of that the Chargers, they brought in J.C. Jackson and Khalil Mack. They brought in, uh, I'm looking at a Sebastian Joseph Day. And then Broncos, Russell Wilson, right? A new coach. Um, was it Vangio? Nick Vangio? Um, obviously, that didn't work out. But you guys can see people are always looking for reasons to doubt the Chiefs. Why? Because of their greatness. I mean, this is a team that's been in the AFC Championship five, five years in a row. This is a team that is... Super Bowl or bust. Like if the Chiefs don't, if the Chiefs season ends on anything but being, you know, holding up the Lombardi Trophy in the Super Bowl, it's a disappointing season. You know, Patrick Mahomes gave him credit in just his first couple of years was leading the Chiefs to the playoffs, you know, leading the Chiefs to the Super Bowl. Like 
dude, literally Mahomes' first game when he came in, dude, he led a game-winning drive against Denver. Like, Patrick Mahomes was destined for greatness. And it sucks being on the other side of the spectrum. I've been there before. My Colts with a minute ago. Andrew Luck, that's all, That's how long ago it was. Unfortunately, we blow now. But Andrew Luck, we, we fell victim to Mahomes in the playoffs. And Joe Burrow has now done that. Obviously, Burrow's beaten Mahomes. Not many quarterbacks can say that they've beaten him. You know, Brady's done it. Burrow's done it. But this season, that wasn't the case. I mean, the Bengals just, they weren't good enough, man. And it's crazy to think about because... You know, the Chiefs didn't get off to the best start, and there were several times this year where the Chiefs were far from number one in the power rankings. There was times where they were, but teams like the Eagles and the Bills and the Bengals, you know, it seemed like the Chiefs were flying under the radar for not a lot of good reasons. But the Chiefs, like I said, they won this game because of the rookies that they have. I mean, Mahomes, Kelsey did their thing. Andy Reid called a good game. Spagnola give him credit for this defense. He doesn't get enough credit. Spagnola is a good coach. A lot of Chiefs fans want him gone, but he held the Bengals at 20 points. And remember, this is a really young, this is a defense that starts five rookies. They play up the heat consistently. I mean, but I mean, where do you even begin with this football team? I mean, you go back to that third and, third and uh, three, right? So the Chiefs, they make a play. They had that tip drill interception by Joshua Williams. That was their second of the day by a rookie. A rookie. Joe Burrow was picked off twice by a rookie today. The fact that that happened is just crazy to think about. Travis Kelsey, he passed Julian Edelman for the second most receiving yards in postseason history with you know, over 1,442. Next up is Jerry Rice. So you can see, I mean, I've been saying all season, you know, Travis Kelsey is the best tight end of all time. People were like, Gronk, you know, Gonzalez or whatever. I mean, I don't know what else Travis Kelsey has to prove. I mean, this guy's like 33, 34 years old and is still going out there. And he's the best tight end in the league by far. George Kittle is great, but he's not Travis Kelsey. And this Mahomes-Kelsey duo is ridiculous. And that's why Chiefs fans were telling me, hey, look, you know, we lost Tyree Kill, but Travis Kelsey's still here. And that decision to unload Tyree Kill not only set up the Chiefs to be better this season with those rookies and picks and more flexibility, but for the future because now they have they're not paying you know tire a 29 year old tyree kill who is injury prone because he's so small and you know tyree kill also relies heavily on his speed and athleticism once that starts to wear off tyree kill won't exactly be that he'll still be he'll still be an you know, okay player but he's not going to be the player we know him as now that you know the guy that can is can put up 2,000 yards in a season in a hurry um he was on pace for that but obviously the two uh in, you know concussions and things like that uh like jerry sneed had a concussion did not return Kadarius Tony left with an ankle injury. Um, the Chiefs were just dealing with injuries in this game. They've been dealing with injuries all season, but they kept fighting. They, you know, just their perseverance, their toughness. I mean, like I said, part of me is like, you know, sitting up your root for the Chiefs kind of sucks because they're always good and they're going back to the Super Bowl. And I know a lot of people want to see Joe Burrow get it. Trust me, I feel that. But at the same time, man, Chiefs play some really good football and Patrick Mahomes, it doesn't get better than him. I mean, you know, watching Patrick Mahomes is just... It's like watching a shortstop, bro. It's like the way he plays. I'm pretty sure he played baseball on shortstop. He just ridiculous. The athleticism and just the IQ and just being able to read it. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is going to go down as the best quarterback ever. Obviously, a long ways to go. Tom Brady's there. But, I mean, Patrick Mahomes is just getting started. The fact, think about that. I mean, this guy threw for over 5,000 yards this season. Had like an extra, you know, 300, 350 rushing. Over 40 touchdowns. Led the league in QBR. Like, He's not even in the prime of his career. League is in trouble. Only good thing about my Colts being ass is that we don't have to play Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs because Joe Burrow and Josh Allen are going to have to do a lot of that. But I'm out, guys. Peace.